What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy, The Network. And today's topic is Section 5.3B, Bravo, Management Plan Protection. This is a topic in the CCMP route exam. It will be known as the CCMP Enterprise Exam. I sound like a broken record. Come February 24th, 2020. So if you are watching this video after that date, just know that this exam used to be called CCMP Route Exam. It transitioned uh, to the CCMP Enterprise Exam. I'm talking ahead in the future here. Anyways, let's take a look at the exam blueprint and see where we came from and where we're headed. Hashtag lab every day. But I'm representing Brooklyn. All right, so this is the exam blueprint. Implementing Cisco IP routing, exam code 300-101. The new exam code, I believe, is 300 dash or something, I don't know, who cares? It don't even matter because, again, this is the route exam, will be known as the enterprise exam. We just wrapped up the section lines, configuring and verifying device access control through the lines, VTY auxiliary and the console port. Today we're going to, again, discuss management plane protection. After that, we're going to move on to password encryption. Yes, that's a whole section. And we are going to do a separate video for that. I started to put these, wrap these up in two videos, but I'm not going to do that. Anyways, what is management plane protection? First of all, before we talk about protecting the management plane, we need to talk about what is the management plane, right? I don't know if y'all remember any of my sub subscribers. If you're a loyal subscriber to this channel, you'll remember the first video I did for this playlist, right? Probably like eight months back or something like that. I talked about how routers are logically divided into the control plane and the data plane, right? Let's go ahead and pull up this slide real quick and I'll show y'all real quick. Now, I didn't separate it like this, but remember, I did mention in that first video, the control plane and the data plane, that a router is you know, separated logically like this, right? Now, we're going to add the management plane, right? Now, let's discuss what all of these are, right? The control plane is responsible for routing data correctly, basically, that's basically, in short. The data plane is responsible for forwarding data, right? It's not destined for him, so he forwards it to somewhere else. Most traffic travels through the router or switch via the data plane, right? Now, this is what we came to talk about, the management plane, right? This is responsible for managing network elements. The management plane traffic is generated either by network devices or network management solutions using processes such as protocols. So basically, the management plane is when we have to access the device to manage it, right? So we need to get into the device so we can control it figure out what to do with it in simplest terms. Y'all know I like to put things in lamest terms, but there's several ways to access the device, right? We can SSH to the device. We can telnet to the device. We could, um, we can do an SNMP walk. I do that a lot of my job. We do, we can access it through TAC acts and radius. We, we've dis, uh, discussed that in the last video, right? So there's all these ways that we can access the device, but we don't want everybody on willy nilly getting onto our device to let that way, right? So that's what we need to protect the management plane, right? So, and this, by the way, is, is called the Cisco Network Foundation Protection Framework, right? It's also called the NFP. If you wanna get more into that, this is more of a CC uh, NA security topic. The management plane protection refers to allowing certain protocols on a management interface. When configuring protocols for security, you should use encrypted protocols whenever, pro uh, whenever possible. So for example, using SSH over Telnet, or HTTPS over HTTP, right? <laughs> it says it right there, I forgot about that. And there's only some iOS's that have this feature because like I had to go through a couple of my devices. I went on GNS3, none of them had, had, this, uh, uh, had this mode. Um, I had a couple of my routers that I looked through and I was like, damn, it doesn't have it, doesn't have it. I went to my ASA that I just bought, that didn't have it. And finally I had a my 1941 router, which we're gonna pull up for this video to discuss how we can protect the management plane. A couple of more fun facts. We can restrict the management uh, packets uh, des uh, to the designated, designated interface. It offers greater control over management of the device. So basically, we have a door to our, to our home, right? We just put more locks on the door, right? That's basically what we're doing here. So not everybody can just get onto our device and without having to use, uh, put, complex access control lists and, and we just do a regular management plane protection simple it's simple enough to kind of just put, control the device access so a couple of steps that we do that uh we go to enable mode config t 
uh, global config mode, right? This is the main thing that we need to know here. And this is the one, this is the command I couldn't find on any of these routers until I got to my 1841 router. Control plane host. This gets into control plane host configuration mode. I didn't really know too much about this. I think I remembered, you know, looking for it a long time ago. But then now when I got to this topic, I was like, where is this? How can I get I enter this mode? Well, I finally found it on one of my routers here. And that's basically how we get into it. You do control plane and then host. And then uh, after that, uh, you do management interface. And then you choose the interface that you are going to allow specific types of management traffic. So in this case, on FA00, we're allowing SSH and SNMP, right? I don't know why it was like that. But anyways, um, that's what we're going to uh, that's the type of traffic we're going to permit on the fast Ethernet 00 interface. Once you do that, you hit enter. It'll go back into privilege exec mode, just like this, which really, this this ain't even privilege exec. Yeah, I guess it is, but it's really configuration mode for, for the control plane. And you would think this is for the management plane, right? They should have made this uh, mode called management plane, right? But no, you enter it by going into the comp control plane configuration mode. So that kind of threw me off as well. How do we verify it? It's just a simple show command, show management interface, and then the interface that you are trying to um, manage your management plane traffic on. And uh, and then you'll see which uh, what kind of traffic has um, went through this interface. So let's, I already have the uh, Cisco 1841 fired up here while I was experimenting this. And let's take a look at how we can protect our management plane. All right. So right now I am consoled into router two, which is the Cisco 1841 router. I don't feel like y'all seen y'all seen this router before. I wanted to show y'all physically. I'm the kind of I'm, I'm a kinetic. I'm a kinetic learner. I have to be hands on with it. That's why I've been like I have hardware and stuff like that. You can virtualize all of this stuff. But I simply I actually just bought a rack, which, by the way, that's why I'm in my garage. I just bought me a little rack that I'm going to start racking up this equipment. Plus, I find myself in a better state of mind in the garage. There's not, I don't have family. Y'all remember the last video. I had my daughter all up in there. What's DMVPN? <laughs> now, she wasn't doing all of that, but she was all in there, right? So now I'm going to be in a more isolated area. And I suggest y'all do that too when y'all need to study. So anyways, we are um, consoled into the 1841 router. We're going to go to enable mode. And again go to global config mode. And do y'all remember how to get into the management plane? Pause it and think about it. All right, we're back. You should have hit pause. It is control plane, right? Control hyphen plane, right? Now, if we hit the question mark here for the context sensitive help, you can see we've got these couple options here. We got CEF, Exception, which is which manage you're able to manage the CEF exception traffic host traffic control plane configuration and transit. So transit is for the traffic that is not destined for him, but he will go through here. That's management traffic or control plane traffic that is not destined for this router, but it goes through this router and it goes to another router, right? And host is if it's destined for control, you're gonna you're gonna man, uh, manage or modify the traffic that is destined for this host and that's why we do control plane host right we do that and you can see the carriage return is there so there's no more commands we not need to enter now as you can see we are in control plane host configuration mode right what options do we have here so we can get out of it and we can uh, attach FPM package group. I'm not too sure what that is. This is the no command service policy. This is what we came here to see. Management interface configure. You would think, again, we should have put management plane and host or something like that. And then we can get a management uh, plane mode. But no, it's control plane is how we get into the management plane protection. Right. Once we're in there, we do management interface, right? Just like we said in the slides here. We do management interface, choose the interface, allow, and then choose the type of protocol that we are going to allow on this management interface. So in this case, we are gonna say management interface, right? What options we have here? We choose the interface here. In this case, I believe this is uh, FA00 that I have the uh, 
my uh, Ethernet cable. And which, by the way, we're going to, I'm going to show you why, how we're protecting this here as well. So we're going to go to FA00. And then after that, we're going to say allowed. What's going to be, what type of protocols are going to be allowed here? And here's the protocol options we have here. We have beep. beep, 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 beep. <laughs> I ain't never heard of that. I need to look into that. <laughs> There's FTP, HTTP. Obviously, we want to put the more secure traffic in this case https ssh that type of thing so in this case i don't have ssh and stuff set up but i'm gonna we're gonna say we're gonna allow telnet right for now and then that's what we're gonna allow we're gonna allow and you could just you know type in each one what you're gonna allow in this case we're going to allow https ssh and telnet traffic right once we've done that we can get out of this and we could just do a show management hyphen interface right that's the this is how we verify it zero zero right and this is what type of traffic is going to be allowed on this device right as you can see here it says package process right so right now what interfaces we have here show ip interface brief so we got fa zero zero right so we're going to get out of this right we're going to tell that into this device and see what type of packets are processed right tell that Let's get out of this all together. Exit. All right. So we're going to tell that because right now I'm consoled into it. Same device. Dot two. Right. The username network. Bruh. Password. I bet y'all wish y'all knew what it is, but y'all could probably rewind and go through the show run show run to see what it is. So now we're telnetted into the device, right? Once I did that, you know, I was telnetted into it, right? So I get out of that, do a show management interface. And notice, remember before, we were able to see how many packets were processed and stuff, right? That was all set to zero right there, right? And we're gonna say FA00, that was our management interface. And you can see here, we've got 106 packets that were processed. You would think like, what, how many, when, when did that happen, right? So when you're logging onto a device, sending the password and going back and forth, three-way handshake and stuff like that, that is what's going on here, right? Right now, it is protected, but you got to understand here, with all that traffic that was going back and forth here, a denial of service attack can happen on this computer, right? So... By just allowing this certain type of traffic on here, we are protecting our device on a management plane sense. But as you know, Telnet is not very secure, right? It is clear text. You can see the password and stuff like that. So that is not something that we really want to do. Another thing we want to mention is when you attempt to Telnet into a device, by default, we are kind of we are kind of allowing all of that traffic onto this device, right? When we Prior to me using the uh, control plane host command and just allowing this type of traffic, right? Let's say somebody telnetted into this device, right? They can log in, right? And they could basically do a denial of service attack by just allowing certain types of protocols on, on this device. We are protecting the man and protecting it on a management plane sense. Also, you do a show run and you could see it'll be uh, towards your your VTY lines and stuff. Once you do a show run or show start, you'll see the control plane host command along with what you have controlled. So in this case, the management interface is the fast FA00. We're allowing only HTTPS, SSH, and <laughs> Telnet. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much how we've protected our device on the management plane sense. But remember, the management plane is under the control plane host configuration command. So that is all I got for y'all today. That is my YouTube page. That is my Twitter handle. Go ahead and add me on Twitter. Go ahead and put a comment below if you uh, feel like I could have done some more in-depth discussion on protecting your device on a management plane sense go ahead and hit the like button if you don't like this video go ahead and hit the dislike button i don't care because i'm gonna keep making these videos i'm just recording my journey if you do like this video share this video if you don't like it share it as well and be like look at what this guy's talking about <laughs> for now comment like subscribe to the oh and don't forget subscribe
hit the subscribe button. The notification bell will tell you when I upload these videos. Comment, like, subscribe to the network.